friends, I'm Dee. I'm about to react to this video. This is adult problems that nobody prepared you for. Ooh, it's a lot. It's a lot. So enjoy not having to pay rent while you can. Enjoy your broke, carefree life while you can because things only get harder from here, okay? And it's real hard. You got to pay for a lot of shit, like a lot. You don't realize how much it is until you get out on your own. And you're like, God damn, this is a lot of shit. You got to pay for rent, utilities, uh, fucking car note. How you going to get around? Gas, um, internet, cable, car insurance taxes you have to pay so much stuff groceries like every month you're paying for these things like as soon as you get paid all that money is going all to these to these things that you don't want to fucking pay like it's a lot but um yeah so so enjoy your life while you can because um it's real out here but let's see what they have to say let's watch what is an adult problem that nobody prepared you for i'll go to I encourage you to go back and watch that video so you know where this is coming from. But these are some tips from a registered dietitian with fruits and vegetables. Girl, I want to hear this. First of all, with avocados, store them in the refrigerator as soon as they go soft so that way they last a little bit longer. Second, buy frozen fruit and vegetables. These are typically picked at their ripest point, so they actually have more vitamins and minerals than fresh fruit and vegetables. Third, buy canned vegetables and Girl, they salt nasty. Added, Nobody them. or rinse them before cooking them and that will drain some of the salt out. She really thinks she's spitting right Four, now. Four, when buying her. canned or fruit in a container, buy it in 100% of its own juice. What is an adult problem that nobody prepared time? you for? Child. I'll go first. I don't know how life became so lonely after high school. Uh, I mean, the this fact is that fact. we live in a time where it's, it's repetitive, COVID, not lonely. It became other than that, like, all your life after high school, but repetitive. COVID was still kind of lonely, bro. Unless you didn't have that tight bond of like group of friends in high school. Once you started college, everybody just disappeared. And then, like, That's everybody in college does not care about you. They go in and out of that campus to get their work done, and that's it. That's you're, like, forced to do projects or whatever. And, like, that's a big change because mm. in high school, we're kind of forced to interact with each other. Mm. We were in the same building five times a week, you know? But, like, that's not the case anymore. And mm -hmm. that's why networking is something so important that they didn't teach us. Being able to learn a skill that help you make more bonds with people. Mm -hmm. Because right now, we're all on that's our social media. What is you know, social media thinking that, that that's a good substitute. It ain't. This. Home. After being kidnapped, oh. raped, and beaten into a coma, I never expected to be homeless. I had straight A's in high school. I had straight A's all the way through my double master's degree. I worked for 15 years in corporate and woke Sis, this is not an adult problem. I feel for you, but- into a coma to find that all of my family was dead. Girl! I could not I'm, contact any friends for their I'm not. I, I'm going to talk about the end. I swear and I'm not. I'm not for that this lady at all. Had either been confiscated, stolen, I'm or confused. completely destroyed. All I owned was the clothes on my back, which was a tank top, a pair of panties, and a pair of socks. And the cops even tried to arrest me for it, for indecent exposure. What is an adult problem you, sis, that nobody prepared you for? You have this to pay for garbage. Home. You have to pay for water. You have to pay for electricity. You have to pay for gas. You have to pay for your car. You have to pay for homeowners or renters insurance. You have oh, to that's pay for who. car insurance. You have to pay for car maintenance and oil changes and gasoline. You have to pay for education. You have to pay for the government taxes. You have to pay for the doctor. You mm -hmm. have to pay for what the doctor does to you. Mm -hmm. Even though they ordered the lab and you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Mm -hmm. You have to pay for vision Pardon. insurance separately. Mm -hmm. You have to pay for dental insurance separately. Mm -hmm. Whose idea was that to make dental insurance separate from health insurance? You have to pay for food. You have to pay for drinks. You have to pay for clothing to keep mm -hmm. you warm. You have to pay for literally everything. 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 Life insurance? You have to pay for your own life insurance? What? What is an adult mm, problem she was that nobody prepared you for? Boy, oh boy, have I been waiting for this one. The jocks and our frat boys, they don't ever outgrow it. They just become sexual offenders in the future. Oh. Cheese is very expensive. 
Everybody casually does cocaine, which I haven't quite fully grasped yet, even though I used to have a cocaine addiction. Kind of makes I've, sense, kind of doesn't, you man. I have a lot after of so long. A thousand dollars is like 20 bucks. If you have enough money, you can pay to not do a damn thing with your life. So not knowing how to do anything will fuck you in the end. Dating was never about looks. It was literally about how two people vibe together. Would have never guessed. If you don't pay attention to how you set up your taxes, you will have to pay so much more at the end of the year because the government just automatically says, we're going to fuck you really hard, make you think you have all this money. You don't need to go to college to be successful. You don't need to work a nine to five to be successful. Your biggest supporters are going to be the strangers online because nobody where you grew up wants to see you succeed in the same place that you came from. What is Speak an on it, brother. that nobody prepared you for? Quality throw pillows are really fucking expensive. Rugs are also very fucking expensive. That you need to clean the filter in the bottom of your dishwasher. That you need to replace the filter in the top of your fridge. That you are literally going to do a load of laundry every day for the rest of your life. Bitch. And it doesn't stop. Speak for yourself. That I'm in the adult world, a thousand dollars is about the equivalent of 20 when we were a kid. Power yeah. washing is simultaneously the best and the worst thing all at the same time. That depending on the career path you choose to take, college is literally a waste of time and money for a solid 50 plus percent of people. How quickly fruits and vegetables expire. Taxes are hard and they suck. Mm -hmm. Having a pet is really like having another child. Mm -hmm. It's no wonder our parents always said, ah. mm -hmm. being tired literally all the time. All the time. What is an adult yeah, problem lot, that though. nobody prepared you for? You know how adults tell you when you're a kid, like, oh, you have all the time in the world. No, you don't. No, you don't. You absolutely do not. The average life expectancy in the United States is currently 78 years, okay? And 18 of those are spent in childhood. So you have about 60 of your adult That's years to decide who you want to be and what you want to do, right? Wrong! If you sleep even 7 hours a night, then you've lost 17.5 years. Oh, full-time job? 10.8. You have to get oh. to that job though, right? So that's going to be another 1.2 years of your life driving. Dang. A huge chunk of your life is going to be working out, sitting on the toilet, cleaning, showering, grocery shopping, and let's just throw in an extra five years for all of this other mm. shit. So the amount of time that you actually have for like dreaming Ooh, and man. cultivating hobbies and forging deep friendships and relationships and having kids is like this. Choose wisely. Oh, damn, that's What depressing. is an adult problem that, is that nobody prepared you for? Mm, this is gonna be good. The only date within your economic class. Cinderella's story never happens. Partying turns to substance and alcohol abuse <laughs> with most of your friends if they don't stop it until they're 30, 32. Oh, you know, I was look laughing. weird, I'm act kidding. weird, and talk weird as long as you're making money and normal people will still respect you. Mm. Nobody ever really grows up and changes. They learn to mask most of their shitty personalities. That's a fact. Compatibility is way more important than infatuation in relationships. True. Very true. It's really hard to find, make, and maintain friendships. Yeah. Most of the people around you at some point will start hating novelty and change, and they will admit to it and be proud of it, and that's infuriating. A lot of people pretend to be experts and know what they're doing when they're not. Oh, that's annoying. What is an adult that's problem annoying. that nobody prepared you for? Money. We are literally playing a fucking game. Like, we go to the store and shop. We buy things. Just change dollars into points. Now, imagine you have 300 points, but the item you want requires you to have 400 points. What do you need to do to get those extra points? You need to go play a game. You need to go work or do something so you can get those extra points. And once you do this task, you get coins. And the coins have values. And the value I'm going with this is thing. the number of points you get. Okay. It's made up. Yeah, yeah, we all know this and we're all sick and tired of it. But I'm not just repeating this just to repeat it. This is dangerous. We don't know how to do shit for ourselves because as long as we have points... Someone else can do it for us. What are we going to do when the economy crashes? Because this isn't going to last forever. What is an adult problem that nobody prepared you for? A few things. One, I'm scheduling my own doctor's appointments. Because, like, I'll call sometimes and I'm like, hi, is this, <laughs> is this a hospital? And they're like, 
who are you? And then I hang up because I'm like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do this. And then what? also like, like dinner, right? Like I have to actively know how to make more than three things because I have to make my own dinner every night until I die. And I can't just be I eating spaghetti and peanut day. butter sandwiches. Why not? I think that might shorten my lifespan. Um, also yes, medicine, mm, right? When a doctor brain. prescribes you something to yes, take, it's yes. like take two of these like every six hours. I'm like, okay, cool. I heard that, right? But I still need to like ask my parents just to make sure I'm like hey like I'll try to do it like slightly I'll be like oh yeah the doctor says to take two of these every six hours is that does that sound right like is that is that <laughs> is that right and my parents are like do you not know I'm like can you tell me because I'm scared what I never had those type of parents that so nobody I, prepared you for it's so fucking lonely oh my god Y'all need some everybody money. is either at work having kids that is true during the married. week during the week or depressed it just it doesn't work what am i supposed to do buy furniture buy food that's all i that's all i do or i talk to this painting oh, what, this shit is lonely what is an adult problem that you nobody prepared you for okay country. this is something i have been struggling with ever since i got into the corporate world about six years ago some people are just really bad at their jobs and if you are a chronic overachiever or a perfectionist, this is really, really hard for you to deal with because Girl, I personally job. feel are like I'm very reliable and I have a high level of accountability. And I just thought Kelly, do your job and shut up, girl. But who okay. cares? Some people just don't take responsibility for their actions. Is it your? Is your? And is don't your think it's their responsibility. Do you to own the do company? Their job Kelly? well, Kelly. What is an adult problem Kelly, get off my that screen. nobody Who prepared cares? you for? It's not your I company, have to Kelly. figure out what to eat Mind three your times a day, every day, for the rest of my fucking life. No, eat the same thing. That shit gets tiring. What is I an adult problem every day. that nobody no prepared shame. you for? I swear that time moves so much faster now. I blink and the day that is, is over. True. I swear when I was a kid, time used to go by so slow. So mm. slow. Literally, the months are going by school. so fast. I feel like we're about to be in May. <laughs> May. This year literally just started. People were just talking about how oh, 2021 just starts about to be a better year, and we're already about to be in May. How? Um, I really want to address the beginning of this video because I was laughing when that girl was talking about you know her terrible story. But I promise I was not laughing at her story. What type of sick? person would I be. I'm never going to laugh at someone's trauma and their terrible situation that they go through. But I was taken aback that she was she was putting this on, on this compilation. Like, girl, no. Everybody is not going to have that experience, thankfully. Um, it says adult problems that, that nobody prepared you for. So the, the point is for you to come up with something that most adults face. Um, so I, I was just confused. And then she got real detailed about her personal situation so i'm like what, what why is this why is this on the video um but prayers out to her hopefully you know she gets help for the trauma she experienced because that sounds horrible i would never wish that on nobody but girl this, this was the wrong compilation kelly why are you here kelly why'd you come on this compilation to talk about you guys aren't doing your job as well as i am i'm gonna be employee of the month fuck out of here kelly karen that annoyed me <laughs> she didn't belong on here but everybody else you know, aside from those two people, um, spin facts, spin facts, facts on facts. Um, I, I really encourage you guys. Ooh, my battery about to die. Damn. Anyway, just enjoy your life while you can because, yeah, there are a lot of responsibilities. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you want me to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one.